Walking Day 98, Judgment is Stupid. Within this blog post, I walk through self-forgiveness on judgment, specifically judging my physical body, and then within that going into comparison and comparing myself to other physical bodies, others' looks, others, you know, physical features, and thus then going into comparison with them and defining myself by this comparison. Um, so, realizing within this point of judgment that it is deliberately self-separating myself from life, it's a deliberate action because I'm constantly living into this point of, you know, judging people, comparing, diminishing them, diminishing myself getting good feelings when I'm more than them, getting, you know, displeasure when I'm not, and thus going within the cycle of back and forth of feelings and, you know, living for a little feeling of, you know, being more than someone, being prettier than someone, and thus defining myself by that ego point of, oh, I'm, you know, better looking than that, than that person. So, thus I'm more than them, which is ego, you know, it's just not um, who I want to be here, and I realized within the point I did some self-forgiveness on, you know, judging my physical body and, you know, wanting this perfect picture, this perfect looking person um, all the time. And, you know, pushing my body and, um, you know, blaming it and judging it and putting myself through really hellish experiences to, you know, chase this perfect looking picture so, you know, others can think that I'm perfect or others can think that I'm, like, the best looking or... You know, it's really about being the best. I want to be the best. I want to be more than other people. So I want to, and I want other people to see this of me so then I can define myself by this. So it's quite a fuck up within, you know, existing in this way because you're const I'm constantly in my mind, you know, judging living into this judgment and within the physical it's being affected every breath pretty much because the mind takes physical substance actual physical tissue to create the energy to create the thoughts create the judgments everything that's going on in your mind is being created through your physical human body flesh um suggest there's a new series, well, never mind, but go on to Equaf and check out the Soul of Money interviews and the Reptilian interviews, and it ex explained, and also obviously the Destiny material, it's explained extensively on how the mind is functioning within ourselves, and what it is really, like, what is the mind, how is it creating thoughts, how do we create thoughts, where do they come from, there is a process, and it's not a equal in one process that, you know, it's a symbiotic relationship between the mind and the body, it's, the mind is a parasite, and it eats the body, and we are the creators of that, because we're living into the thoughts, we're creating the thoughts, we're creating the judgments while well, I am in this sense in this video or in this point um so realizing that you know the human physical body is standing as life equal one unconditionally supporting me every breath every moment it's doing millions and millions of actions 
each day to keep me alive and it's physical processes from the minute to the you know big um and you know I take it for granted and I abuse it and I've even created a disease within me disease um because I'm not in ease with my body I'm in conflict with it and I'm judging it and so within the correction of this point it's to stop obviously judging life investigate each judgment that comes up self-forgiveness self-correction and walk the self-correction and living by stopping the judgments in breath and not accepting the thoughts um, stopping the point of this perfection trying to be more than other people walk equal one to others and you know walk the point of not allowing myself to go into separation and judgment and comparison and all those points so I can stand here in the physical and be equal with people in reality like really be equal and not you know be here and then in my mind judging comparing and you know seeing myself inferior 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 or superior to them based on what we look like and just going from f pictures and physical you know attributes and it doesn't matter we're all physical here we're all equal we're all one thus we should all be respected in that regard and you can't just judge someone on a you, you know face value there's a whole story so to speak behind the person and behind everything in life and you have to take everything into consideration and you know within that realize that you know everything is me and you know treat others as I would want to be treated so it's really bring this into my living every day and stopping these points of judgment because judgment is stupid it's stupid because it's squandering my opportunity to become life here and to bring a world that is best for all and, and support people and honor life as it should be. One and equal with everyone and, you know, from the physical, from what is real. And stopping, you know, our minds from directing us into separations with each other and creating conflict and comparison and judgments when those aren't actually real we're just making it all up it's not real it's not physically here as it's in our minds and it's created in our minds and thus we can stop it so that's what I'm doing walking to stop these points of judgment comparison and you know, walking the physical and becoming physically equal in one through my physical action and not allowing mine to direct me. Okay, thanks for watching.